Hey YouTube, I'm going to start producing a series of very short videos um, surrounding the CR-10. Um, I have the original CR-10, <clears throat> it's not the 10S. Um, it's got the older main board. Um, I've put about four to five hundred hours of printing uh, through this thing and it hasn't failed me up until now I recently did a arcade cabinet very large pieces that took up the entire build volume not necessarily the entire bed but um, I had to turn them at an angle when it you know 350 millimeters high um, that project alone took about I'd say between 100 and 120 hours. Um, after that project was finished, I decided to go ahead and upgrade to the Micro Swiss all metal. Not the 300 degree friendly, but the all metal. No PTFE whatsoever in the uh, throat. And uh, had a few initial prints that were just beautiful um, the problem I'm running into now is uh, the reason I'm tearing it down today um, is the extruder um, my extruder motor has not failed but I think I know why people's extruder motors are failing um, to prevent warping I found even with PLA, PETG, that's mainly what I print with, primarily PLA. If, uh, if you've got a small piece in the center and your bed's nice and level, you usually don't have any warping problems. Uh, but I've printed, uh, for example, a subwoofer box that took up, it came all the way to this white line. So, you know, it, w it was within a few millimeters of the entire build volume. And the edges uh, had some warping that I was not happy with. I found out if you if you really heat the bed up between I'd say 75 to 90 degrees, um, I'd say 85 is a good medium. It tends to keep the plastic soft enough, at least with PLA and PETG, that your first initial layers do not curl. At least they don't for me. I'm using, um, I don't print directly on the glass. I use, uh, this is very similar to Tack Build, but it's about half the price. And they're pre cut for the CR10. So I would highly recommend these. You get three of these in a sheet for 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, Before I forget, let me get back to the extruder problem. Well, I was kind of leading into that. This I was dovetailing into that. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is they level the... I think most people level their bed with it cold or not at a very high temperature. Of course, I don't think the glass expands, but if you're using a build tack type surface, when you get up above 60 degrees, well even at 60 degrees, I'd say anything above 50 degrees what I have noticed is you'll get some significant expansion in the z-axis and I'm not sure if it's a combination I don't know if it's the aluminum uh, heated bed uh, I know it's not the glass but it could be the aluminum it could be the springs expanding it could be the build tack, it could be a combination of all three. So, you think you have a level bed, excuse my dogs, but then when you heat up the bed, um, your print head is crashing on your first layer. So I think the problem I'm having, like right now I've got a clog right at the end of the PTFE where it was trying to feed it in, but and I initially leveled my bed but when it got up to 80 degrees there was enough expansion that it was touching it was 
pressing the nozzle into uh, the build surface and I don't know if you can see but I can feel tracks of previous prints and that should not be uh, so I know it was digging into this and it, of course if it's digging into it then there's nowhere for the plastic to come out of the extruder so you get back pressure here you get melted filament that clogs up this boat into and then your motor has no chance but to drive itself very hard which is going to lead to failure this is why I believe people were having the failed extruder um, separate motor and then of course you get a nasty clog here you have to tear this apart get the clog out um, I'm hoping that I can just pull the tube out of this end without any other disassembly preheat it and then advance the extruder with a little bit of pressure pushing and if I can get the you know that 10 millimeter of uh, 5 to 10 millimeter of clog to come out then I can just pull the rest out and I'm good to go reinsert the tube um, yes I would recommend leveling your bed at the temperature that you usually print at um, another problem I've had with my extruder is on t um, after my first few prints I wasn't getting any, any extrusion or it was very intermittent and the grub screw, there's two grub screws, I don't know if you can see it in this light, on the uh, extruder gear that attaches directly to the stepper. Um, those were loose from the factory. So they ended up not only loose, but they worked their way up, well the gear worked its way up the shaft, so it really wasn't catching the filament at all. And then when I started noticing my most recent extrusion problems I noticed that one screw was loose and the other one was tight but the gears had risen above the whole gear on the shaft had risen again so I loosened the grub screws it it should be level with you've got this uh, you got this roller right here or this bearing and then you have the bolt at the top of it. Um, the ungeared part attached to the stepper should be almost level, well, pretty much level with the top of that bolt, or I'm sorry, top of that, uh, well, yeah, the bolt head. Uh, the hex part of the silver bearing should be flush. What I'm trying to say is this should be flush with this not the gears if the gears are above the bearing then you need to loosen the grub screws and adjust it um, so I'll almost stop here and then I'll come back and show some of my other critical upgrades but in summary that's I think that's why there's a lot of stepper motors failing and then you get the kickback from the back pressure under extrusion all those type of problems check your gear make sure your grub screws are tight make sure your nozzle is not crashing into your bed um, and also make sure there's no kinks in the, in the Bowden tube that would um, try not to use pliers on this it's very easily uh, crimped and any resistance in this tube is going to cause you problems. But I will stop there and uh, I'd like to come back and show a few more upgrades. I hope that helps some people.